Welcome to the Wisdom Mind blog, the place to be to develop confidence in your meditation and to get all the lovely benefits, the relaxation, the calmness and the clarity of mind. Now, if you're watching this video on Facebook, it'd be brilliant if you clicked like as you're watching it. And if you are on YouTube, um, it'd be brilliant if you subscribe to my channel. Thanks very much. So today we're looking at what is the best type of meditation for you to do. There are four widely used types of meditation, both breath and body awareness meditation, mantras and affirmations, visualizations and using um, your senses. So your vision, your sense of smell, your sense of hearing. Body and breath type meditations are really good at helping you um, sense where you've got physical stress and tension in your body and helping you to relax it. So they're a really good tool for helping you do the first part of any meditation process and that is relax. Mantra and affirmations are a single word, a sentence, a paragraph that you can repeat over and over again for a period of time, repeat it several times during the day, or um, in my case, I just use it once a day with the rest of my meditation. This year, I have been using the mantra, always have the support of a cheerful and optimistic state of mind. So when I've been feeling a bit low or down about things, I can try and change that think about what I'm worrying about and what I'm anxious about and change um, those thoughts into more positive um, action orientated thoughts that will help lift my spirits. So mantra and affirmations are really good ways of changing your mind state from um, one state into another. Visualizations. So visualizations, um, some people find them really easy to do, some people find them quite hard. I'm one of the people that finds them hard, but even so, I would still say, have a go at doing them. Visualizations are a brilliant tool of teaching you the second part, uh, second step in any meditation process, and that is to focus. When you're building a, med uh, a visualization in your mind and your mind drifts off again, it's much easier to notice when it's going and to bring it back to the place where you left it, uh, the place where you left where you were building your visualization. So um, visualization and in fact uh, using sense objects where you are looking at an object like a leaf or a stone or a stick or, or whatever it may be, or you're listening to sound like the sound of the rain or wind or to a clock or to some music. Those um, ways of focusing your attention are a really good way of building up that focus skill. So relaxation is the first thing you need in a meditation. Focus is the second. Noticing when your mind is wandering off and bringing it back is the third thing within a meditation. So any of these meditation um, methods will do those things. Really, the one that's the best for you is the one that feels the most comfortable for you to use. In my first year of meditation, I tried out about 15 different types of meditation, partially because I was worried about getting bored, but also because I also wanted to try out different things and see which worked best for me. Now, 11 years later, I can say, actually, I still use all different types. My meditation is actually a blend of several, several different types um, each time I do it. And I found that that has really helped me stay with that meditation process and practice for the whole 11 years that I've been meditating. Now, if you are wondering about, well, where do I start? My recommendation would be to start with a breathing based meditation. You can download a free one from my website. It's called the Nine Breaths Meditation um, and it's on uh, www.wisdom-mind.co.uk and click on the free downloads tab. Use that meditation as the starting point for learning the process of relaxation. If you've got any questions about anything that I've said today or anything meditation, then just pop those questions in the comments below and I'll answer them as soon as I can.